Greetings all and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to compare the Trimui Smart Pro and the PowerKitty X55. These two sub $100 handhelds have different designs but very similar specifications and performance. Both of them can also be bought for around $80 depending on where you buy. The question then is, which one should you choose? Stay till the end for my verdict on this. But before we get to that, please note that this is not a hands-on review. Guys, I've had some comments on this from viewers who don't feel that I'm actually doing any work when I do these types of overviews. My response is that I would love to actually do hands-on comparisons or reviews of these units. But with the channel being so small, I'm just not in a position to do this as yet. Until I get to the point where I can request review units from these companies or actually purchase one of these, I'm endeavoring to do my best to provide value to my viewers by making these videos based on feedback provided from some of the top hands-on reviews combined with my research and opinion. I hope you find some value from this video, despite the fact that it is not actually based on my personal hands-on experience. I genuinely enjoy making them, as I love researching and comparing all things tech, especially the kind that dishes up awesome retro gaming delight. If you enjoy it as much as I do also, please remember to like and subscribe for more useful tech updates. With that said, let's get on with the comparison and compare the specs of these two units first. The Tremui Smart Pro packs an all-winner A133 Plus quad-core CPU that runs at 1.8 GHz. 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB of internal storage, while boasting a 4.96 inch 720p IPS LCD display. When it comes to firmware, the Smart Pro has its own Linux based OS that just recently got updated to version 1.4, and there is also custom firmware called MinUI and Tomato OS available. In contrast, the PowerKitty X55 brings a powerful Rockchip RK3566 quad core processor. It has 2 GB of DDR4 RAM though. One review that I checked says that this does not seem to make much of a difference in performance though. I do think that if we had to actually compare the two units side by side, this might help a bit with heavier games on PSP. But that is speculation though, so don't quote me on it. The X55 has no internal memory, but it does come with an SD card in most instances that can vary in size. It has a slightly larger 5.5 inch 720p IPS screen, on which most screen ratios display brilliantly according to the feedback I've seen. The X55 comes preloaded with JAL OS, which is custom firmware that is forked by PowerKitty. Sadly though, the developers of JAL OS have recently announced that they will no longer be supporting the X55, which means that there will be no future updates for this OS from the developers themselves. PowerKitty may do something about that, but the sense I get from the retro gaming community is that they are not very proactive when it comes to the firmware on the units. The other notable difference is that the Smart Pro has a 5000 mAh battery, where the X55 only has a 4000 mAh battery. This should mean slightly more playtime on the Smart Pro. You will have to keep this difference in mind along with the software situation of each of these units when making your choice. Both handhelds offer expandable storage via micro SD cards and feature Wi Fi and Bluetooth connectivity for online gaming and wireless file transfers as well. With such similar specs, it really makes it difficult to decide on which one to choose. But let's look at the design and ergonomics, as there are some clear differences here. The Trimui Smart Pro exudes a sleek, rounded aesthetic with a minimalist front panel reminiscent of the PlayStation Vita. So if you own one of these, I'm sure the Smart Pro's looks will appeal to you. It is also much sleeker and more pocketable than the X55. Its D-pad and face buttons provide a tactile dome switch connection, while the analog sticks have a very similar feel to those of the Vita apparently, even though they are slightly inset. On the other hand, the X55 sports a chunkier, more ergonomic design with spacious controls and easy access to all buttons. The back of the unit has rounded hand grips that make the unit very comfortable to hold, giving it an edge over the Smart Pro in this regard. Its D-pad and analog sticks, while not the best, offer a decent gaming experience. Reviews report that it did produce some false diagonals in games like Contra, but that despite this the game was still very playable. The glass-like finish on the X55 was unfortunately reported to attract fingerprints quite heavily, more so than the Smart Pro. So if this is something that you do not enjoy, it is another point to the Smart Pro, which handles this better. The triggers on both devices are reported to be slightly loud but functional, so you may not be able to play these in bed next to your sleeping spouse. When it comes to performance though, I somehow feel like the Rockchip 3566 processor on the X55 should be better, as it is used in more of these handouts than the all-winner processor in the Smart Pro. But from what I've seen, they have extremely similar performance. 
I was unable to find any direct comparison videos, so my opinion is solely based on the reviews I've looked over for each. Two of the three synthetic benchmarks I checked showed slightly better performance on the X55's processor, but these are very dependent on testing scenarios, so I would not make my choice based solely on this information. Both handhelds excel at running classic 8-bit and 16-bit systems like Game Boy, NES, SNES and Genesis with ease. They will even run PSP games well, up to the level of GTA Vice City Stories. It may need some tweaking though with the likes of God of War. The Smart Pro used to struggle significantly with the likes of God of War, but after the 1.4 update, that is no longer a notable problem. So, to wrap up, let's compare the plus points of each of these units. The Trim UI Smart Pro has a sleek, minimalist rounder design that is more pocketable than the X55. It has a slightly larger battery, so you may get more playtime out of it. As of the date of the video, it has continuing firmware support, and it is less fingerprint pro. Whereas the Parkity X55 has a chunky design, but it is much more ergonomic and has a comfortable grip. It has a larger 5.5 inch display that may be a plus for some. 2 gigs of RAM instead of 1 gig on the Smart Pro. So, based on the above, we are once again in an impasse. These units are so similar, it is difficult to point out one clear choice over the other. How highly you value being able to carry a handheld in your pocket, and how important comfortability is, will be big factors in the choice here, as those are the main clear differences. The PS Vita look of the Smart Pro may also give it some nostalgia points for some. If you want more security in terms of firmware support for the future, the Smart Pro may be the better choice. If you find either unit cheaper than the other on a sale, I would say grab it up. Personally, I like the look of the X55, and if it came down in price a bit, I would definitely opt for it even if its firmware situation stays stagnant. Maybe it's just because I never owned a PSP before that I'm not partial to the Smart Pro. Let me know in the comments which one you would choose and why. I love discussing this with you, so fire away. You can also check out my videos on the Trim UI Smart Pro for more detail on it by clicking on the links on screen now. That's it for this video though. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.